the National Assembly. Debarment allowance. Debarment allowance is supposed to be allowance paid to pacify us with the experiences, the technical experiences we have acquired skillfully, that if not properly managed, could be used to cause subversive action in this country. Among us, we have bomb disposal unit experts. Among us, we have investigators. Among us, we have those who can assemble weapons and dismantle. So this set of people in other countries, other nations, are kept as reserve officers. In time of insecurity like this, you bring them, you fall back on whatsoever experiences they have to build up. But here is Nigeria that they like to throw away the baby with the bathwater. So let them pay us a development allowance that will pacify us so that we are not hijacked by another group to carry out an act that will not be a, 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 a good to the government of this country. Thank you very much. We want, as retirees, we want to be recognized as senior citizens of this country. We served Nigerian police. We didn't serve PENCOM. So this uh, PENCOM that was introduced Nobody sought our opinion. They just placed us into it and forced us into it. And as a result of what we are, we, we are suffering, we come to uh, you know, stage these protests. Because if they meant well for us, this uh, PENCOM system should have started from recruitment. I, I, I'm, I have five or four years to retire. Then I started contribution. How, how much will I contribute to augment my uh, gratuity? After, after four years of introduction of the program, I retired. I'm receiving 33,000 as chief superintendent of police. Now I'm, I retired about 11 years ago. How, can, how do I, uh, we go to the same market with people who are receiving uh, other sister organizations that are removed from the, from the PENCOM. They are receiving, my, my, my own rank is receiving 20, 200 to 300,000. And I'm receiving only 33,000. This is wickedness. It's cheating. So I don't know why we should continue in this. That's why we have come to protest. This is, is, is the intent to kill us. That's why I wrote this thing. We wrote this thing. It's a misnomer. Yes. Pencom is a misnomer. It is meant to kill us and not to cut us. They wrote in the, one of their uh, reasons that Pencom is, has come to cut up for us or our livelihood at retirement, old age. But many of us have died out of frustration because of this wickedness. So we want to be out of it. That's why we have come to so stage. We are expecting the National Assembly not to listen to anybody. We are the stakeholders, all of us that are gathered here. We are the stakeholders of Nigerian police retired from uh, under PENCOM. So of those who come to tell them that they are, they, they like PENCOM, they, what are, we know that a lot of water has passed under the bridge. They are not representing us at all. Those who are representing you know, us are here. We are, we are all representing ourselves. So we don't, we, I don't know why some people will come and say they, 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 they are representing us. Nobody is representing us. We are representing ourselves here. My name is CSP Panda Ngwala Dili, retired. Thank you.